cartoon monster's presence. Where is he? I know you're in here somewhere! Oh, cameraman! Cameraman! Come out and play, eh? There you are. I knew I'd find you here. Do you have any idea how much pain you've put me through? Today, it all ends. Today, I get my revenge! What the? What's happening to me? You have been hypnotized. Say hello to my new friend, Skibbity. Do you like him? I do. Because I learned his mysterious blue screen had a paralyzing effect on toilets just like you. Aw, oh, don't worry now, buddy. It'll all be okay. I'll see you soon. Very soon. <laughs> Comfortable? It's no use. One of my guards would just flush you before you'd be able to escape. I'm sorry it has to be this way, but I just had to find a way to talk to you. You needed to finally know the truth about how I became the way I am now, and for me to take responsibility for what I did to you all those years ago. You see, back in my school days, I was a bit unruly. I guess you could say I was a bully. I took my anger and used it to torment everyone in my sight. But do you know who my favorite target was? You. You were constantly getting praised for your musical talents. Everyone loved that stupid little song of yours. Skibbity bum bum, oh yes, yes, skibbity bum bum, neep neep. And at some point, I guess it started to tick me off. And as that jealousy swirled inside me, I became inspired to make my very first movie. A horror film. Hey guys, watch this. Shh. Even as I entered that bathroom, I knew what I was about to do was wrong. I didn't care. I just wanted to wipe the smile off your face. And now let me say this once and for all, so you know I mean it. What I did to you that day was awful. It was heinous. One might even call it unforgivable. When I showed the other students my footage, it ruined your entire reputation. I didn't care though. I loved the attention I was getting, both in school and online. I was finally somebody. You had to switch schools, and I had to as well, because eventually the principal found out and had me expelled. I'll never forget when my father picked me up from school that day. He was so ashamed of me. I lived with the shame of my actions for many, many years after that. But lucky for me, my passion for my art would eventually put me back on the right path. I grew up and found success as a big shot Hollywood cinematographer. People all over the world wanted to work with action. me. My movies were a hit. And cut, that's a wrap everyone. Great work. I was living my dream life. Everything had worked out in my favor, but apparently my old friend from school wasn't as fortunate. I couldn't believe it. There you were after all these years, and now you were a plumber. What what happened to all that musical talent, all that potential? I, I couldn't help but feel somewhat responsible, so I decided I'd try to make amends. Well, 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 long time no see. In hindsight, it was an awful idea, but I guess I thought it'd be a great way to make up for things. You, me, the toilet, it was just like the high school days. But this time, I was gonna hand you over all the money I made from my latest film, as a token of kindness. Now I was going to film your reaction on camera. Oh no, what have I done? Don't worry, I'll get you out of there. I did the only thing I could think of, flush the toilet. You disappeared, it was like you were eaten by the toilet bowl. And then, when your head popped back up, something about you had changed. You were this sickening smile. Skibbity bop bop, oh yes, yes. Skibbity bop bop, deep, deep. I had never seen anything like it. You were a monster. So I ran for my life. You chased me all over the city, bathroom to bathroom, toilet to toilet, destroying everything in your path. No, please, stop! <laughs> Ah! 
and it wasn't just me tormented. You added more and more to your porcelain army. You had completely changed. And I realized that maybe I was right all along. There was an evil lurking inside you from the get-go. You had become a menace to society, starting a full-blown revolution. After that, I did the only thing I've ever known how to. Document it all on camera. I was going to expose you for the monster you were. But that's when you and your minions finally caught me. You swallow me whole and... I found myself swimming in a giant pool of water. And there was my camera floating right beside me. That's when things got even stranger. My life forever changed. What? What did you do to me? What the? My, my camera! It's replaced my head! What have you done? <laughs> I gave you a swirly just like the one you gave me all those years ago. And now look at you. You're a freak. Even more so than the rest of us. <laughs> he was right. I was a freak. This is what I had always deserved. No one was going to want to work with me now. My career was over in an instant. So I ran away. I hid myself in my movie set for weeks. But of course, as a bigwig Hollywood director, it was only a matter of time before someone came looking for me. Hello? Is anybody in here? Hello? Where's my favorite cameraman at, huh? I know you're hiding in here somewhere. I won't hurt you. I just want to talk a little business. Hello? Ah, what the? What, what happened to you? An accident. And a happy one at that. What? What's going on? You stay away from me! Oh, but I thought you wanted to talk business with me. Maybe pitch me your latest project. Try to get me back behind the lens. You, you're a freak. I thought the same thing at first, but then I saw this for what it really is, a gift. You see, now I'm always behind the lens. Now I'm always filming. And you, you're in luck because you're going to help me make my best movie yet. From there, I started to build myself an army of camera people. The spread was unstoppable. But I didn't only want cameras. No, a good movie needs sound too. And screens for them to play on. Soon my soldiers were everywhere. My movie was being filmed from a thousand different angles. And you know what the title of my movie was going to be? Down with the skibbity toilets! And that's why I set all this up. That's why I did all of this. Because today, I end the scourge that is Skibbity Toilet. Today, I end the horror I created all those years ago. But before I do any of that, I just wanted to look you in the eyes and tell you from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry. You didn't deserve any of this. This was my fault from the very beginning. I should have never given you that swirly. But now I have to end this. Goodbye, old friend. Ah, my hand! You bit my hand! Ah, no, get back here! Stop him! Stop him! No, don't let him escape! He can't leave here alive! Come on, almost there! Almost there! There's an exit! Oh, I don't think so. Mark my words, Skibbity Toilet. One day I will end your kind. One day I will flush every last one of you. Until then, old friend. Until then. <laughs>